Hey, what's going on, folks? People here at MillieBound.com. And as you can see, we got your uh, Nike Air Flight one. It's going to be your home Orlando uh, Orlando Magic colorway. And uh, so, let's go ahead and get into it. There you go, Nike Flight one, size nine and a half. Colorway is going to be white, white, game royal, anthracite. Quick overview of the shoe while I'm doing that. Again, uh, like I told you guys in the last video, we're pretty much taking open up pre-orders for the for uh, phone in my words. We're pretty much open pre-orders for uh, any releases that's coming out for pretty much the rest of the year. We got a few for next year, but pretty much everything that's dropping for the uh, rest of this month, December, pre-orders are open. Uh, they are going fast, so you might want to get those in. We will have your bread 11s. Uh, we'll have a limited size run available early next week. And then after that, we'll have them uh, again at the end of December when they release. But, uh, oh, and let me not forget the contest. Again, I mean, I'm sure you saw the caption when the, uh, when the video started. But again, if you want to enter the contest, head over to the site at ameliebound.com. You can enter there. I uh, want to say that's everything I got to tell you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the review. Again, it's going to be a Nike Flight 1 uh, Home Orlando Magic Colorway. So we'll start with your soldier. You can see you got a mixture of uh, got your Game Royal here. Game Royal Nike check. That's going to be pretty much surrounding that anthracite or black. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. Your black here. You got your two uh, Game Royal pods here. More of that uh, black and white intertwined near the, uh, the, the uh, tip of the sole. Got those same white indentions that come on uh, pretty much every Air Flight One. I'm sorry, Nike Flight One. To uh, let me stand that up the right way. Get here to your midsoles. You can see you got a black pod here. You're gonna have Game Royal coloring inside the pods. That Game Royal is pretty much gonna stretch around the entirety, entirety of the uh, of the midsole, inner and outer panels. I'll get into that in a second. As you can see right here, which is a little different from your uh, triple black uh, flight ones that last came out. You have a gray outline. It's going to be like a rubber material here. A rubber material outside this uh, this black pod. And you're going to have a white outline outside that. You're going to have your suede nubuck like material here. This little patch here. It's going to be a gray Nike check on there. As you can see, you got your uh, white stitching here. Gray stitching here. Game roll stitching here. Pretty much uh, your toe box, the upper side panels, uh, the back is going to be like a, the white section is pretty much going to be a leather like material. Got another black pod here. I'm trying to turn it so you can get a good look. There you go. You got a blue in that pod as well and it's going to be outlined with your new bug like lining as well. That gray colorway. Back that one up. So again, you got the white leather material in your toe box. You got those same kind of dots that come on your flight ones. Game rope colored in those as well. More of that white contrast stitching. You got your uh, pinstripe mesh tongue. As you can see, it's going to be black and white, of course. You got your uh, Nike basketball logo type uh, game rope rubber patch here. White check on that. You got your game rope blue lace hoops. Game rope strings, of course, as you can see. Check the inside of your shoe. Got that Game Royal lining, Game Royal insoles. You got your white Nike Air logo. Cardboard shoe horns, of course. You know they don't do a uh, don't do a whole lot special with your Flight Ones, as you can tell by the price. Anyway, you got that uh, nylon-like material in the back of your tongue, Game Royal as well. You know how this goes. Uh, pretty much same concept on the inner panels of the shoe. More of that uh, gray new buck line in there, there and there. Got your game royal line in here, game royal stitching, white stitching of course, same as the outside. Uh, only difference, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows already, you only got one pod on the inside of your flight ones. Black pod, uh, mixing them with colors, black pod, game royal dots, game royal coloring inside those, or that gray stitching. Got a small section of white here on your inner, uh, your inner panels of your shoe, but for the most part, the bottom midsoles is uh, predominantly game royal. Got your, uh, of course, you got your number one tab on the back, flight one. That's going to be uh, 
the bottom half of it with the black Nike Air logo. It's pretty much going to be a rubber material as well. This is more of like the uh, new buck like material. Got your plastic number one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to go through the uh, store with these again. Pretty much everybody. Well, I can't, you know, can't say everybody. Can't speak generally, but I know most people that I know that are familiar with Fly Ones know why. Know uh, why these shoes are famous in the first place. Uh, and you definitely know Watson, Watson or Orlando Magic colorway for uh, Penny Hardaway. But anyhow, this is going to be your, again, your Orlando Magic Home Flight 1 colorway. Uh, you guys stay tuned. We're going to have uh, too many reviews coming uh, this weekend. Uh, again, you can check the site, millibound.com. You're going to get those pre-orders in because we do not have a lot left after pre-order swoop through, especially on... Uh, on a uh, quick strike shoes or you know pretty much anything today is popular nike those are limited on it or makes a persona behind it or any kind of uh fictional story people are gonna go buy it so uh yeah you guys get those pre-orders in we will have a limited size uh bread 11s in uh next week i'll definitely be giving you an in-depth review on the bread 11s there's been a lot of speculation about the box the authenticity of a lot of the shoes that's running around and floating around so you guys stay tuned of course we'll keep the shoes and the reviews coming